so we are in module 4 dealing with industrial geometries and in this particular video lecture we will will deal with the indoor air in office uh, we will model we will mesh the indoor air in an office environment uh, this is this geometry is uh, typically found in HVAC applications the heating ventilation and air conditioning applications where we want to know the temperature field and the velocity field inside rooms so this is uh, this this is the application of this uh, so I uh, I'll show you the geometry so this is a, a view of the geometry with some of the wa walls and the ceilings blanked the actual the geometry will contain the ceiling and the walls as well as we we will see in just a couple of minutes when we go to the ICEM so this is the geometry with the walls and the ceilings blanked so we have the four lights and the and the tables and the monitors and the computers here uh, and the occupants are the tall boxes so what we see here from the geometry is that uh, uh, is that uh, it is perfectly symmetric uh, that is uh, I it's 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 very uh, uh, it is symmetric about uh, uh, this axis so we can copy the mesh in we can generate the mesh only in one part and then copy it to cover the full geometry and in uh, this time when we are copying the mesh we will use a different option of merging the nodes uh, which will uh, do away with the problem of pyramid elements we won't get any pyramid elements because of a, a better method of merging the nodes which is uh, merging nodes by tolerance we won't uh, merge the nodes by using surface parts as we did last time in the last video lecture uh, we will merge the nodes by using tolerance and there won't be any pyramid elements uh, manufactured now uh, secondly what we will learn in this tutorial is that these uh, inner blocks you see the inner blocks uh, the inner uh, I, I, I'm sorry the inner furniture the computers the monitor and these tall boxes they are an obstacle to the fluid flow so we will learn that uh, to model such internal obstacles to model such internal walls uh, we will have to associate the internal edges to the curves inside the geometry we will associate the curves uh, the internal edges to the to the curves which make up these boxes so that will help us create an internal wall and then while creating the mesh we will switch off these internal walls we will put them put them in a solid part and switch it off while creating the mesh so uh, this is what we will learn here we will learn how to copy the mesh without uh, creating the uh, pyramid elements and we'll learn how to create internal walls and uh, create mesh in that so without wasting much time let's go to the ICEMGUI